Hello kids. Well, as you all are enjoying online learning program, welcome back for the online English grammar session, class 4th. As in the previous session you have learnt about sentences and its kind, now let's move forward and learn some new concepts of noun and its kind. Now kids, let me tell you once the topics that we'll cover when we learn this chapter. The very first one is concept of nouns. Then we have its use in various sentences. And the last is kinds of noun. Now kids, I want to ask you one question. As soon as you get up from your bed, you observe many things around you. Like table, chair, bed, watch. Or we can say that as you can see over here in this picture, the bedroom, Elmira, clock, many things around you. Now, when you move outside, the environment around you also has so many things like trees, mountains, animals, maybe a park outside your house and many more things like this. So kind kids, we can classify these things in two parts let me tell you the very first one is living things and the other one is non-living things now living things living things are those that grow and they have life and when we talk about non-living things non-living things they do not grow but can you tell me one thing as we are talking about living things and non-living things, can you find out any one similarity? Can any one of you? Yes, let me tell you. One thing very common in the living and the non-living things. Or we can say that things that we observe around us. The common part is that they both have names. So that we can recognize a certain thing. If we want to communicate about anything or if we want to learn any new thing, we should no first know about its name. So kids, can we say that a name plays an important role to differentiate between various things and non-living things? Now, in English grammar, when we talk about grammar, we call these names as naming words or nouns. Nouns can be a name of a person, it can be a name of a place, it can be a name of a thing or an animal. So broadly we have classified nouns in four parts. Means nouns, you can have a look over here in the definition. Noun is a name given to a person, place, animal or thing. Now, kids, let me explain you in detail about nouns. When we talk about noun as a person, you can have a look in this picture. When we talk about nouns as a person, it can be either a boy, a girl, a baby, a doctor, a mother, father, sister, daughter, nurse and so on like this. And when we talk about noun as a place, you can look in this picture. It can be a house, school, park, any building, beach, park, hospital, church, temple, mosque, etc. So on like this. Now animals. So many animals, you know, wild animals and pet animals. So they can be classified under this category of nouns. Cat, dog, pig, lion. These all are nouns. Now, things like sun, stars, pen, pencil, table, chair, car. These all are also nouns. Now, kids, a question arises. You know what are nouns. It can be name of a person, place, animal or thing. But, can you identify it in a sentence? First, let me give you a few examples. The very first one is, children were playing in the park. Now over here, as children is used for a group of people and 
park is also a place so these both are over here nouns now let's move forward with the next sentence a bird was flying in the sky over here bird and sky they both are nouns because bird is the name of an animal and sky again it's a place now lion is the king of jungle again lion animal and jungle it is a place where animals live so all these are nouns that are written in colored part now will you be able to do the exercise let's try and have a look for the exercise now underline the nouns in the following sentences now let me read out the sentences first for you varanasi is a religious state supriya is an intelligent girl a frog is jumping near the pond we will go to market on sunday many stars were twinkling in the clear sky ganga is a holy river to worship my father will come on tuesday we'll go to delhi by car now these are eight sentences what you have to do is you have to pick up nouns that is name of either a person place animal or thing i think it's quite easy for you now so let's me let me discuss first few sentences then you have to move forward yourself now varanasi is a religious state over here varanasi is a place and state is also a place so these both are nouns now next sentence supriya is an intelligent girl supriya and girl both are personal noun in this sentences and third one a frog is jumping near the pond as you know frog is an animal and pond is a place so it is also noun now rest in sentences try to solve it yourself and check your answers from the next page in the next session we'll move forward and learn about kinds of nouns till then practice the concept of nouns